Hey guys, this is Nancy Austin and Falcon. Today we'll be doing a Dairy Queen Wizard flavors tier list. So yeah, here's how the tier list goes. You know the usual, the best flavors. Again, we got the great flavors, good flavors, the decent flavors, and we got the bad flavors. And then my least favorite flavors, and then the ones I've never tried. So yeah, let's get into it. The first flavor we have here for this tier list is the Butterfinger. To be honest, when I had the Butterfinger for the first time, I did not like. I did not like it. I'm pretty sure if I would give it a second chance. I probably would like it. Just like I did the Reese's. Like I used to not like Reese's back when I was a kid, but now I really like it. Just so good, Reese's peanut butter cups. But for Butterfinger, I'll just put it in the bad section for now. Next up, we got M and M's. Now, okay, those are one of my favorite flavors. It's just really, really good. I'll be putting it in the great, my favorite flavor, my favorite flavors, because the M and M's, like the, with the soft serve ice cream, the M and M's, with some chocolate in there, mm, just good. Next, next up, we have the Heath, the Heath like Blizzard, Heath. It, that's the worst candy, the worst chocolate bar I've ever had. Like when I had it when I was a kid, it was just disgusting. Just spat it out immediately. Like, ugh, it just tasted so bad. Like I just this like if I would ever have this in the blizzard, I probably would not like it. So I probably put in the worst flavor section. Next up, we got Snickers. When you're hungry, you're not yourself when you're hungry. So you have a Snickers, but you want to have an ice cream, that's another good solution to solve your hunger. I'll just put in the decent section since I've never, you know what, I've never tried it before. Right, pretty much what I had, I probably would probably think the decent one, so I'll probably just put in the decent section. Next up, we got s'mores. And that one I've actually never tried before. I have never in my life had s'mores with ice cream. Never had it. And also the Girl Scout, the Girl Scout Finman cookie like wizards. I'm gonna put the two and never try it since I have no idea what they taste like. Next up we got the brownie batter. Brownies and ice cream, it's just really good together, like you put the two together, the ice cream and the brownie. You just mix it all together, it's like like a perfect marriage. Like, how can you go wrong with those flavors? So, especially if you put like M and M's inside of it or Oreos, just to make like a brownie cookie like. So I probably just put it in like the best flavor since it deserves to be in that spot. Next up, we got the drumstick with peanuts. I like drumsticks, even with, yes, even with the peanuts. It's just good. It's not anything that will like blow your mind or anything. It's just a good, a good blizzard flavor. I'll just put in a good tier. Next up, we got the frosted animal cookie. Welp, as I else. Welp. I actually never tried that one before. I used to like frosted animal cookies when I was a kid, but I just haven't eaten them in so long. Like, yeah. I'll put in, I've just put in another try second since I never ordered a blizzard in my life. That wasn't one. Next, got, next up, we got the Cotton Candy Blizzard. Cotton Candy, I actually had that one before. It was good, but it was just a, bit, a little bit too sweet and made my teeth tickle. I don't know if that's normal or not. Like, it, are teeth supposed to be, are supposed to be like tickle when you eat something like that? I'll just put in the good section. I'll probably order it again, but it's a little bit too sweet for me, but I still enjoy it either way. Next up, we got the chocolate chip cookie dough. Okay, that one's a great one. You got the cookie dough with the ice cream. Just good. A classic flavor. Gotta put that in the great flavors section. Next up, we got the Choco Brownie Extreme. Okay, now this is like taking it to the next level right here. You're making the brownie batter blizzard, add chocolate chips or chocolate pieces. You're just making it even better, so I'll probably just put in the 
my the best flavors and move the brownie batter to the great foot to the great flavors it's still really good but compared to the extreme brownie the choco brownie extreme you're just making it even better next up we got the oreo blizzard the most i don't know if it's the most iconic one but this is like my first blizzard ever was really an oreo one and it is delicious i'll tell you that like it's just a classic for me a hot summer day you go to dairy queen and what do you get what do i get i order a nice medium medium size or a small size so whatever I don't order the mini ones. I I just finished them up like in a few seconds. But the Oreo Blizzard, it's just a classic in my eyes. I'm gonna put it in the best flavors section. And finally we got the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup Blizzard. Now this one I actually would like. I peanut I peanut butter cups with ice cream. It just sounds really good to me, so I, I'll probably just put it in the good section. In the, in the good flavor is like section of the tier list. So yeah, and just like that, I finished with the Dairy Queen Blizzard flavors tier list. So the best flavors I got M&Ms, Choco Brownie Extreme, and Oreo. For the great flavors I got chocolate chip cookie dough, brownie and brownie batter. For the good flavors I got. Uh, Okay. Drumstick with peanuts, cotton candy, and Reese's peanut butter cup. My only decent flavor was the Snickers. The only bad flavor was the Butterfinger one. The worst flavor was the Heath Bar Blizzard. And the ones I've never tried are the S'mores one, the Girl Scout Fin Mint, and the Frosted Animal Cookie Blizzards. So yeah, if you want to make if you want to make this into your own tier list, I'll leave a link to it down in the description below. Anyways, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell to get notifications for every new video I upload. Anyways, peace out guys.